Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good morning, and it's your boy coming back at you live. I hope everyone had a fantastic, uh, you know, night of sleep, and here we are for another brand new trading day. Let's get started here with our market news. Uh, seems like we had a little bit of a Zoom uh, music was not sounding that great, so hopefully you guys can hear me all right this morning on Zoom. Uh, just want to do a quick mic test, make sure you guys can hear me loud and clear. Let me know if you guys are hearing static noise or whatnot. Okay. All right. So, so we're, we're good to go here. All right. Getting into the news as usual. It's wonderful Wednesday. It stocks did rose this morning as the latest consumer price index reading came in lighter than expected. Futures tied to the Dow Jones and Dozer average rose 188 points. While the S&P 500 futures and NASDAQ 100 futures respectively added 0.6 and 0.7%, that's coming off a day in which the NASDAQ composite gained 0.75%, enough to hit a fresh closing record. The Dow Jones Industrial Average added 126.60 points on Tuesday, and the S&P 500 rose 0.48%. We had Fed Chair, Chair Jerome Powell that spoke yesterday, reiterating that it was unlikely the central bank would raise rates, but the Fed members would need to practice patience. So... Um, that's just a little quick recap. Uh, today we already had the 8:30 news. It, you know, for my futures traders, you can see we got a very nice pop here so far. Um, so let's kind of look into why that was. Obviously, that was right around 8:30. Uh, today being the 15th at 8:30, consumer price index, CPI year over year, of course, CPI, U.S. retail sales, and all that good stuff. So we did. Hopefully, uh, you know, you were reminded. And also on the future chat, we have the bot installed to give you plenty of warnings to make sure, hey, you like, I know it looked like, you know, the 200 was the area that the shorts really wanted to crack, but it held that for a good bit here. You can see here, never cracked the 200 and just got a big shot up to, into the two, the deviation two line. Now we're, we are on a downtrend right now. So now the bears can have a little bit of, uh, you know, rest and ease uh as we are plunging back down right now deviation one line is support all right getting into the the watches for small stocks obviously the meme stock kind of you know helped boost a little bit of fun again uh you know in these uh in the market for the stock side of things but uh we got edbl here this is the number one gainer this morning and we have traded about 8.5 million in volume uh definitely a nice one uh, very nice treat for from 580 breakout. And then, you know, if you missed the second and uh, first entry, you had another opportunity at 768 second breakout play. And we hit all the way up to $8.80. So it went from 879 high today. And then one more pop up to 880, literally one cent more higher. Uh, anyways, USA Consumer Defensive Company. This is a farm, you know, product company under 1 million flow. So some super low flow, micro flow stock. That's going to be very volatile. It's going to be easily... Uh, be able to move up nice. That's why we were able to see EDBL running up this much, up, you know, uh, almost 100%. It didn't hit 100%. Uh, it's not at 100% yet, but I will be watching this lower high from the high in pre-market at 880. And then you can match it right there. So we got to break out of this downtrend line. Right now, the bulls are doing okay, holding out this area here, a little bit of this higher low. So we need to wedge out of this triangle and break out back up to 880 and then, you know, nine to ten dollars. All right. Uh, you know, overall news this morning, EDBL it just reports significant 27.6% year over year revenue growth for the first quarter of 2024. So that's about it. All right, really just kind of go going down the list. I mean, you know, they're not really my favorites. The rest of them, there's a lot of micro pennies this morning. Uh FFI being one of them. This was a nice play of 60. Uh, one cents here to 67. We're trying to re-break the 61 again here on FFIE. This one also does have a brand new press release, uh, or I, I think it was. Let me double check. Maybe not. I need to double check on FFIE. Uh, yeah, it's just a, a you know a short squeeze. It's joining the ream, the meme stock rally on on this um, FFIE. So yesterday we had SPWR being the top uh, meme stock, new meme stock runner. And today we have FFIE. Anyways, market's going to open up here in a few seconds. I'm going to get Holly volume. Uh, actually, keep it the way it is, because if you are on Discord, you should be able to hear just fine. 
Um, the other stocks, guys, I mean, you know, the GameStop, AMC, the meme stocks, just keep an eye on it. And then if I see SPCB or really getting some more volume, we'll get into that. All right, here we go. Markets open. FFIA getting rejected at 61 cents. Um, I think NQ needs to pull back, especially at least down to the 14 EMA. So that's what I'm kind of expecting. Or um, maybe the bulls might hold this area, but I think we need to pull back, like I said, because it's just been up so much and the RSI is bearish at the moment. So looking good here for the, for the bears now. Uh, got a nice new low there. We just need that eight, uh, 14 EMA that is going to need to crack next. Right now, it is still relatively a strong support for the bull. So let's see if it is going to be able to crack that level or not. EDBL, we are need to we are going to need to wait for the confirmation out of the downtrend line there. So right now, downtrending, uh, this is a wick into it. The, this candle could still swipe up. So I would just rather wait. This is exactly why I'm not a huge fan of you know, trading right into the market opening for any products or any type of um, whether it's stocks or futures. So anyways, now if it does decide to swipe up, I mean, you have this line here, 18.518 that was not able to break through here for a few times now. So I like to see a lower low, you know what I mean? Continue lower low because we have been such an overbought territory for a minute here. I mean, for good hour here 8 30 to now we i mean we finally kind of cooled off a little bit all right evbl folks we are starting to uh pump up 885 is the up pull right now we are testing so this might just get helped it up here 885 up pulped 894 they moved it up 894 and i think we are going to get halted up here at 109 percent and we did Okay, so hold it up now at 894. All right, with that being said, right now you got NQ that is trying to reverse. That's why this candle was a little bit tricky because it was right at that mark at the trend line. So we are looking like it's breaking or testing now this line. And then I think that bulls are going to want to get their deviation to line again at the rate they're going right now. So let's keep an eye on it. Okay, folks, um, while EDBL is halted, meaning if it was officially halted at 932, you're going to need to wait for the 937 and 11 seconds to be exact for the unhalt, assuming it's a five-minute halt. And then going down the list here, let's see, IPW not on my watch list, low volume, same thing with AWIN. Nope, all these stocks, like I said, there's just not no point of me really spending my mental capital looking at these dead looking stocks. It's, there's literally zombies right here. They're malnourished. Ain't nobody out here trying to feed these zombie looking stocks. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we got about, uh, let me double check here. So we got a nice pop into the market opening. This is, could be a, this, it could be a big dojo. That's why I'm waiting for the next candle instead. So I'd rather wait for the five minute to, uh, clear and then wait to see how that looks but overall as it wedged out of the downtrend line got a nice quick pop but certainly could still close down below this line right here 18.510 this needs to hold for the bulls Oh, 
Okay, so we did close nicely for the bull. So we are on an uptrend now. So this is gonna look like we are continuing here. So be on the lookout for that here. Okay, so we did hit up towards this line here at 18.532 area. That seems to be a huge resistance there. That's a big pullback just now. Okay, DBL unhalted, folks. Here we go. We got uh, 806 down halt. So I think it's going to get down halt to here, 806. We saw that yesterday as well with one of the stocks. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was the uh, K something, cost. So cost was one of them. And then eventually did run back up. Okay, so here we go. Let's see here on uh, NQ. Very nice, big fat rejection right there in this line. And we are pulling back down really heavy here. So happy to see that for the uh for my fellow bull, uh for my fellow bears. Um, we're still just kind of lingering at the overbought territory, as you know. I don't like that, so I, I like it to pull back. So we did just make another lower low, technically, uh, from the previous candle. That is right. So back into the wick, into the fourteen EMA. We do need to still uh, respect the fourteen EMA as the bull support. Mm. It's an interesting kind of candle here. I mean, right now, this this candle could still wick back up. This could come back up again, close then, because earlier we saw that exact same thing happening here. Okay, so we have about 30 seconds now. So, you know, if it closes above the 18.510 line, I mean, it's going to continue to try to make another higher, uh, a previous than the higher height here. It might wick into this line finally, 33, and then go into this zone here. So this is what I'm talking about. You just, you know, on a day like today where, you know, you spiked up like this at 8.30, um, I just rather kind of wait for a more clear signal here it's still, you know, only been 10 minutes into market opening now. So let's wait for the next candle. Three, two, one. Okay, there it is. Uh, just another really 
tricky candle because this keeps opening up right here at the 18.510. So, you know, you're going to need to expect this to go up and down, up and down within this zone until we finally see a, a confirmation. I think we're more on the bearish side to be on, you know, if I had to be choosing a side based on the RSI, we're constantly making lower highs and lower lows here on the RSI. So I like that aspect. I think we like, I like to see this 14 May crack next and then just go straight plunge to the VWAP level here. You got the 25, 21 SMA VWAP all clustered together here. I mean, let's face it, the bulls already got their deviation two line. The bears haven't even gotten their side of the deep pink deviation, but uh, you know, with the markets being green right now and holding this line, I'm still just going to be relatively cautious. Really mainly what I like to see is this candle cracking opening below the 510 next and then getting on a nice downtrend line. Um, it's just, like I said, this is just a really in the middle here that I don't like. So I would just be a little bit more uh, patient, not try to you know blow out all your ammunition right into the market opening and try to call it a day right away, because then you might not be, because you might be sticking around longer by trying to dig out of a hole by getting swiped up back and forth here. So let's see here, we're getting another little bit of a kick uh, stocks right now, I mean, EVBL has really just been it. You got a win that did get some volume. Looks like that VBAP roll was pretty nice. Probably shouldn't have ignored that one, actually. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's double check on a, a win. This was not really on my earlier morning radar. There's no news on this. So it just got a nice little VWAP roll. This $5 could bring a little bit of that dollar run up towards actually near $6. You can see here, a win does have history to pop and you know pump and dump basically look at every uh every month or so they just get a big rip and then dumps big rip and then dumps and today could be uh, another rip on up if this five dollar breakout roll happens here so i would yeah kind of watch a win for a five dollar candle break you guys know five dollar is the strongest resistance in penny stock so i would definitely just kind of pay attention here if the five dollar becomes support and continue the nice roll here because it's so far a nice little usually now it's got to be a successful one here PTSD. Yeah, um, I think the greatest thing we need to look at for is the 18,500. This is the whole number area. So we're in the 18,500 right now, right? So we want to see the 18,500 crack. We need to see the 18,500 crack. Okay, so because uh, all wicks right now, wicks into 18,500 below and then swipes back up. 18,500 swipes back up. So we need that crack below that them should go but the fact is right now it's like as if they're trying to build another support at 18510 i need to see this thing cracking down and, and yeah i mean i would like to see this thing kind of pulling back down to you know halfway 50 rsi or so cool off there but tough 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 wait for the five dollar candle break confirmation don't just get in wait for the confirmation because it's got plenty of room if it does get a successful five dollar break Um, I would still watch EDBL. That's been my favorite trade of the morning. So I think that it's not going to just disappear out of the blue. I mean, you still got six hours and 15 minutes to go in the market. So um, a win looking better. I mean, if you want to lock something in real quick, you got 599 up hold though. So I would try to at least hold some and ride it up as high as you can. There it is. A win, new high of the day. 599 up halt. $5 break leads to what? Nice dollar runs. The same old ritual we've been doing day after day. Nothing new here. Just another day in the park again. Okay, now we're starting to see this thing finally making a little bit of a what I like to see here. Um <sighs> Uh, 
Okay, beautiful lower low as we were waiting for here. Finally cracked on the uh, NQ. Uh, finally, thank goodness. So we are, you know, downtrending nicely. A win. We have yet to see. Uh, they did raise it up to 623 up halt now. Okay, so right now, looks like 623 up hold on A win, 631 up hold on A win. Uh, I would stay bearish on NQ. It is lower highs and it's continuing to do the lower lows. So um, stay bearish. It was a big opportunity in the market, in the 8.30 to the first hour market opening for the bullish move. I think the bears are very thirsty and hungry for them to take their turn. So don't fight the trend. Should be a pretty easy, nice, solid short. Every time it pops up, just take that short and then just keep keep on staircase or elevator ride down. You know what I mean? So that's, that's what I would uh, personally do. A win, 638 up halt, 638 up halt, guys. This is looking very nice here on A win. Like I said, you, you don't want to miss out on these uh, 655 up halt now. You do not want to miss out on these $5 breakouts on these low float names. Um, if you look at A win real quick here, just by looking at the uh, trade ideas, it was under 1 million float. If you look at the Finvis, it's true, under 1 million float. So it's a micro flow that can easily run on up. Beautiful play. 655 still is showing on up pulp Pacific Northwest. Yes, sir. Surely was a nice win so far. Like I said, you want to take something off, but you know, you definitely want to hold some off if it's a five dollar break. Because you don't want to miss out on our big money on the table there. okay so you got the six dollar now you need to be on the lookout for the uh the six dollar uh, support to hold because you want to make sure that you, you know the the five dollar leaves a dollar run so five to six six to seven if it makes sure the six dollar holds Uh, and Q, like I said, just stay bearish, staying bearish. It's just, you know, it's no brainer. Just let it cool off. Let it keep that dropping down. Our side still relatively got more room to run down. I mean, if you look back here, it went down as low as at 1.37. So, um, I want to see at the minimum 50. So this should be going on a nice roast down, you know, to back down to the gulag. Um, all right. Back to the stocks right now. This is a hot stock right now. A win seven oh two is the up halt now, folks. A win seven oh two up halt showing. Okay, I want to see a new low there on NQ. There's a VWAP. There we go, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. That's how we do it here at Prosperity Trades. And we got our VWAP, and then you got more room to run down. The bears still have yet to even get their pink deadline. So stay bearish, folks. Just choose a side, lower highs, lower lows, and let it keep on cracking down to the gulag. Let them, let them all dump it down down there. <clears throat> Beautiful. Now to 50 MA, you got the next line at 18.4. 
57 line there. That's another line to go ahead and look for a nice little cover swipe bounce there. Look at that perfect T to the touch. <clears throat> All right, back to stocks real quick. You got $6 still holding. You got a doji form right here. Be aware right now, Heikonashis are building green, 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 green. The only time we saw last time was back um, at like 9.45 or so. Let me see here, double check. We're looking for 733 up, Paul. This is this is the candle we gotta get that next leg up. Seven thirty three now. Oh man, that was a beautiful just short down, right? All you gotta do is just you know what? It's just common sense, you know. I was talking with a guy the other night. <clears throat> a buddy from new york he works at a hedge fund you know and we're talking about how our our you know in the beginning our experiences it's always going to be a little bit more complicated a lot, a lot of people think it's got to be complicated and you know and it's going to be because you're going to be testing on new indicators new strategies new systems you're going to go through all that and um as you gain more experience it actually you know, speaking from my experience, it's just gotten more simple. It, the simpler, the better in this game. You know, it doesn't have to be complicated. So after you've already tested it, now you just narrow it down to the simple thing that works and you just do it every single day with discipline. So if you can do that every single day, yeah, you're going to be racking in money. You know what I mean? Consistently. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay. Now, obviously I have, you know, more experience than most. So what the point of it here is don't give up. Just keep going and it's only going to get eventually better as long as you don't give up and you learn from your mistakes. That's another thing. There's a lot of people that can go on for many years, but if they don't learn from their mistake, it doesn't matter how many years you've, you've, been, you've been on it. It's You got to learn to be very quick at making sure you don't make the same mistake again and again. It's something that you have to take that part seriously all right so nice sick bounce right there so far from this line to this line we are now at the 50 rsi like i was looking for the rsi did come down to 50 now what do i want to see well i want to see that thing uh being able to bend down further and go all the way down 38 to 30 uh if it will be able to do so right now we are obviously getting the curl on the 14 ema hill uh, below vwap um and and we're we're still i'd say looking relatively pretty good here so for the uh continue drop now we got less than two minutes now on this candle so let's see if it will be able to continue to get that further drop which i'm thinking yeah why the heck not let's keep it staying bearish Beautiful. Another nice little drop. So every time it pops up towards the VWAP or any of the indicators, go ahead and lock in and then keep on shorting on the, you know, make sure you choose the, the trend. I mean, your trend is your best friend. We talked about that yesterday. A win. What's the trend right now? Trend is bullish. I mean, look at it. Just building higher lows and higher highs. What is that? Bullish. Bullish trend. Bullish, bullish, bullish. Everything bullish. So, you know, you, you keep trying to like, oh, well, let me short now. It doesn't make any sense. It's already up over 100%. At 140% means that what? Most likely it's going to go up towards 200%. It's going to be a potentially a 200% runner next. 765 up pulp right now on A win. 765 up pulp. Until you see that new blues clues. 775 up pulp. We've got a huge spot just now. Holy smokes. This thing is smoking hot. 775 up pulp right now. It is getting a little toppy though, so I want to lock in. Don't be again the greatest traders, folks. Lot like you know the greatest investors, all these guys that are multi billionaires. You know they the the one big trade is what they know how to lock in gains. Like they know how to lock in gains. That's the biggest thing. So you know the reason why a lot of people lose is because they're up. They see that number and they're like that little devil on the left side shoulder. They're like, oh, you can go for more. You can go for more, hon. You know, and that's the devil. And then you keep on getting greedy. And then, you know what? You erode all the gains and then you just lose it all. 792 up, Paul. This just might get halted all the way up to 792. It is getting extended, though. I'm just going to say it based on the trend. 792 up, Paul, right there. 
you have if you want to keep few shares by all means but look at the daily chart right here we're coming up towards that march 28th high here that's going to be tough 816 up pull now they're moving it up even more wow a win 816 up pull holy smokes Okay, lower highs and lower lows is still in tag. You got the average line below 50. So we are on track for the continued plunge. And A win, we did get halted at what price? At 816. There we go. So A win halted up at 816. Countdown five minutes. Which is what? Well. 9.55 officially, so 10 o'clock, 49 seconds to be exact, to be the what? The continued plunge. Uh, we are on track right now on NQ to go down to the, getting a taste of the pink deadline. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Just watch for this view app. They, you know, the bulls, if it does pop back up, you have that very strong 14 EMA to use as resistance as well. And keep in mind, once again, for those that might be asking, there is no news on AWIN. You can check that on the uh, gainers list, folks. Okay, top gainers channel. And you can see here on AWIN next to that section on news on the top right, uh, on the, the most right corner, uh, you'll see that there is no news at all. Okay, so this is just a uh, potentially could be, I don't know if it's a meme, but I don't think so. But if it is, then just know that it's just a micro low float. Okay. Um, Okay, we're kind of back at the VWAP here on the NQ. Remember, the bodies are still making lower highs and lower lows, so uh, we are still focused on the lower high and lower low pattern, unless again, could try to decide to do a little bit of higher low towards the, the 14 MA. So plan it accordingly and then um, give yourself some of that, you know, room to make your decision on what you feel comfortable. So let's go ahead and draw a little line here. Remember, if it, this becomes a higher low, then, you know, at the end of the day, it might be a wick into the 14 MA or to the trend line there. And then you want to reshort back and then continue that um, move down since, you know, I think, uh, I don't. I don't think 50 MA is just going to be. It, it could be just a small one-time bounce towards the 14 MA. I mean, that's not small. It's a nice little bounce there. But you want to look for that continued short point as it goes back up to the next resistance line. Thank you. 
ARLP 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 yes and amen Amen. 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 Okay, so right now, look what happened right now. That is starting to swipe up. You got the RSI wedging right above that average line right there a win right now though guys we are seeing this thing just hitting a brand new high of day at holy moly 929 i am not in anymore at the at this moment 981 is the up haul, but you do have uh you could still get back in uh for that bigger move right now this is going parabolic 745 is now the new support so this should be uh, potentially hitting near, near ten dollars next if this continues to go so I might look for a new entry again here, as long as now we got eight to nine, nine to 10. Nine dollar, here we go again, nine dollars and a 981 up pulp now. Goodness gracious. Uh, 997, again, I would just make sure now we got the nine dollar becoming support. Not a single red candle yet. Um, the last blues clues was um, no, we don't really have any. Just eight dollars now, and then below that is gonna be seven forty. Seven forty line here. Okay, nine dollars nine ten oh six. They keep raising up the all price now. Ten oh six. Jeez, it's about to double the price from the entry. Okay, this candle was certainly an impressive candle here, but you know now we need to. I would wait for the next candle instead to see if it's going to actually open up higher low above the fourteen EMA. Ten twenty three up halt. Like I said, if it's already up hundred forty percent, it's going to be a two hundred percent runner. Okay, so we're already about two hundred percent at this rate. If this keeps up, I will say if ten dollars ever breaks a day. And become support and continues to higher lows from there. We we got to need a, a pullback at one point, but if it ever does, then five hundred percent is going to be possible on the table. So I think right now the ten dollars is is going to be a very strong resistance. But I'm just giving you potentially if it ever does. Right now, I think it's smart to just um, wait for the ten dollar break now. Uh, back to NQ, because NQ is looking good for the Bulls again as we are getting this one candle just literally swapping on up towards this line here and the pink dev line coming up. So uh, what you have to be careful about is, you know, we, we started to kind of wedge back out here uh, halfway through the RSI. Uh, 
Okay, coming up to the pink deadline for the Bulls. We are obviously bullish again. Looks like 50 MA and the built what happened? Built a higher low, 14 MA, just did not even think about stopping it. Yeah, you, know, you gotta watch for those RSIs as well. So right now, uh anyway, you, you got a blues clues here, you got that doji. It could set up for a Tanny May bull flag. Uh, I will watch the 856 candle now. This is, uh, if I just round it up, it's going to be 855 here. So I'm going to say A win. 855 candle break line worth watching plus the Tanny MA bull flag. Okay. So that, that's a setup now. Here you can look for. I'm going to put a line at 855. Below 855 is currently going to be a bit bearish. Now, obviously, it doesn't mean it's bearish, as in, you know, it, it, it's going to need a break. Sorry. I'm going to say 855 is going to need a break here for continued bigger moves. Because technically it's still right in the 10 so it's still bullish. And then got a 10 May right there. Bull flag setting up here if it's successful. So you got triple layers of support here. You want to make sure the bulls continue to hold within this zone and then get the nice pop-up towards a new high day to $10 there. P-H-D-A-M-T-T-T-C-T-T-C-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-
you know, we're watching 550 to 580 area there. Uh, just kind of giving a generalization, but the, if whatever your 500 EMA is, that could be an opportunity to sort of get back in here. Um, right now the DAS is showing me actually as low as 537. But I, I, I'm just all I'm saying is it's kind of getting near the uh, nice oversold territory where you can look for a nice scoop. So let's pull up EDBL because at the market opening, it was literally just a short, you know, pop short, you know what I mean? Um, you, know, you saw it was a nice quick pop, but you know, it just quickly came cracking down here. So we're back to this old line at 580. If you zoom out here, that was actually our first entry of the day. So just like we saw yesterday on GME and many other stocks, I'd like to use the previous first entry levels as opportunities to get back in at a lower price. So I want to give you guys a heads up on that for those that love to buy the, those dips. A-M-T-R-R-R-G-R-P-F-C-A-M-T-R-L-I-D-R-A-R-D-F-R-S-A-D RSPG. R R R brothers. Double Y S A. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm just kind of uh, sitting time right now. Uh, you know, you got 15 minutes or so till the first hot hour. Um, NQ is still bullish. RSI is still up. Still uptrending higher lows, um, and looks like it. This candle could still make a higher high, um, but you know that this will far. If you look back, we don't have a single full body Higanashi above this line at eighteen five nineteen. If we go back and think about it, right? You got wicks, 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 wicks. Uh, not a full body wicks, 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 wicks. So 
Uh, this line is known to be the resistance line right now. So I will be watching this line very closely to see um, how this holds or not. And now this could be making a lower high from here and we could look for the uh, crack out of this line here, 18509 and back down here. Okay, uh, I would watch the 580 line again on the EDBL for other stocks right now. You have AWIN that is curling back up above that 747 line. Let's kind of revisit AWIN because it does have more sauce still. Uh, you are seeing this thing kind of breaking out of the downtrend line a little bit. We need a candle break above 747 right now. So it needs to become 747 support here. So we got a couple of triple lines right now, 747. Um, this would be like 790 and 857. Um, um, okay here it is we got a higher low and higher high so here comes another resistance line at this time still bulls are relatively holding up there and very nicely Thank you. 
Okay, um, and Q still bullish. A win. I would now watch the 792. He got multiple rejections once, twice, three times. Not looking too healthy at this time. Um, EDB all. And so I'm going to mention uh, the lines one more time for you guys because those are the only ones right now that I'm seeing out there. So we got a win. Let's start with a 747 candle break because right now that's not a single. Well, I'm going to say not a single, but 747. And then what was that line? 789. Yeah. So um, still line with watching. And uh, I think EDBL is just the lowest. I mean, it's just a, such an easy, low risk one instead of A wins because A win right now, the shorts do want to get their turn and try to take it back up all the way down, um, the lower at least. So I think EDBL back at that 580 is your better bet um, and become support will be good. Brothers. Scott, okay, yeah, uh, no problem at all. Uh, I think there's still a little bit of a nice opportunity here at, uh, at EDBL, so I'm just kind of watching that like a hawk at the moment since you do want to see some volume setting up towards 11 a.m., but uh, we still have technically like eight more minutes to go, seven minutes now until the first hot hour for a stretch break, and then, I mean, for futures, I mean, everything just got swiped back up, so, I mean... Okay, uh, we're hitting another resistance line here, so be on the lookout or a pullback from that line there. Rat. 
YTVM. VLBT. Okay, so nice pullback right now to the trend line. Okay, um, EDBL, if you're watching, you can see here we're getting that juice here, 580 to 606 now. In fact, we actually hit up towards 620. A um, little bit of a double top there. We just need to clear that line next, and then we should be good for a nice continued bump on up. SRTS. Track. Okay, a little quiet at the moment, but that's okay. Let's go down the list one more time for the small caps. A win, still sliding down, lower highs and lower lows. It's to be expected after such a huge run. Um, IPW, and we again going back. Remember, the ten dollar is a very strong resistance, especially after five. You got a huge, almost a five dollar run here. So, um. I think that was a very smart area to have locked in. You got IPW. That's like, you know, overall higher lows and higher highs. Doesn't look good. That's a good pattern, but it's also, you know, not a good area to go want to go in now. LIDR sneaked up out of nowhere. Um, I suddenly missed out on this one. Um, let me see what's going on. This LIDR. LIDR does not have any new news. Just another low flow name. EDBL, we already talked about this many times, and everything else looks kind of dead. So LIDR is the latest one that just kind of started popping up, actually, been popping up, actually, around 950. This was a line right there, 237, I had a line there, 237. Yeah, it just blew up. All right, I think we're starting to see potential pullbacks time for the for the for the this NQ here. I would watch very closely in this line because there's a uh, I'd rather wait for the confirmation of the crack here on the other side.
Yeah, still didn't curl down. We got a brand new candle here, 30 seconds in. And the moment time LIDR is um, the one that's still pumping up. Like I said, I don't want to chase that right now, personally. But this is the one that is got the sauce right now. So it's on SSR. Just had a doji and a flat green bottom just now, actually. So that's why it's getting a new high. Okay. So three eighty. No idea. Three eighty was that last loose clues line. And if you look at the daily chart on LIDR, then you have the 200 actually around 546. So, you know, it might try to go up towards $5 first, but you know, we'll see. And now it's kind of looking very similar to how A win started running. So, this could be the one right now LIDR 482 up all next. Five forty six two hundred EMA on the two hundred D on LIDR. Just so that I can give you guys that info and you guys can trade that accordingly. I'm not taking a trade right now on this one, but it is looking pretty decent. <laughs> Brothers. BRC. Y -Y -A -N -K -P -H. Okay, NQ still bullish. Um, we are on track to continue this higher low and higher high. You do have the deviation two line coming on up. Um, and here's a brand new candle again. So it is still looking like the bulls are gonna want their uh, bigger run up here.
your one. GPRK track, GPRK, ARVN, TTMI, KPH, PWSC. A 480, uh, a 380 holding means that the stock is still relatively healthy and you want to look for a 10 EMA bull flag setup or LIDR. Okay, and Q still being bullish. Stay bullish on the trend right now as long as we are looking good. So what? GPRK. Okay, that means that we are approaching relatively pretty high up there. Deviation two line resistance, and it's also Yeah, it's getting up there. Could be setting up for a nice short soon here on a NQ. As we're approaching the overbought territory as well. So I'm just gonna say get ready here uh, on NQ approaching. Overbought territory. Okay. So that's a sign of why I start looking to maybe get some get some contracts on the short side here. Okay. There we go. LID are still holding a 380 line. Still building higher lows though on NQ. So, you know, this one was a quick short cover. Next candle is still holding. It's probably going to try to make another high high unless this candle decides to uh, start cracking below this 1843 or this trend line. So right now, still staying bullish right now. Maybe one or two more candles left, I'd say, for the bulls. Oh, I forgot to take a stretch break. Okay. 
ESTS. URGM. Yeah, there's a higher high, new high of the day again on NQ. And LIDR setting up for a flag set up here. And he made both flags still. Four twenty would be the candle break line for LIDR. So I'll just leave that for you guys. So I'll put a line at 420. This is going to be the area of resistance right now. It needs to kind of tend to break through. If it doesn't, then it will get rejected. And uh, there's going to continue to take over. So let's see. C-P-A-T-Y-T-E-S-G-H. TRNL. Okay, we're getting to the uh, bot territory on NQ here. I would like to test to see that test at the deviation line and then start flushing down as we get closer and closer to the 11 a.m. LIDR, just be on the lookout for the 420 here, testing again. Got 35 seconds on this candle left. So after 30 seconds now, the next candle should appear one more time.
Hey guys, right now we got LIDR not being able to do the 420 candle break. Um, and I'm just waiting for NQ to start hitting like just the last few bits of their high and then just start flushing down because we're getting to that point again. So <clears throat> Hey, we're kind of getting to that point now on NQ. So get ready as we approach 11 a.m. ripper dip time. This is most likely going to be an 11 a.m. dipper, obviously, since it's been ripping the whole time. Okay, we're getting very close, guys. Just going to give you a heads up on NQ before the potential reversal here. I'm most likely going to reversal here soon. <clears throat> Ten more minutes till eleven AM rubber dip time. Uh, yeah. This should be my last trade here of the day. So start planning and looking to clean up soon here. Uh, 
Okay. Made a lower high FYI on this candle. Slight lower high. Very, very. Hey, just watch this candle start to wedge out again. So you have officially just two minutes and 40 seconds left. Just just be ready. I said uh, keep getting us that's out there. That was a lower high there. I mean, you really don't have a whole lot of room left on the deviation there. So this should be your last good final trade, I'd say, and enjoy the rest of your day. So another closing the green day. Um, and I hope you guys do the same. Um, if you are looking to stick around. Uh, I would still wait for this RSI if you're really trying to take it, take it hard for the confirmation. Cause I mean, I'm hoping this is a candle, but the RSI hasn't bent down yet just quite. So uh, right now I did take a quick position on the short and then covered here and then waiting for this line to crack. And then we'll be a good lot, nice, you know, short ride down. So Looks like Relly got a crazy pop for my stock guys, um, which again, there was a play at 34 cents. So if you've been waiting for the 34 cents, we just did hit PT. So congrats on that alert play, 34 to 48. So 34 to 48 already hit. Um, you guys know I'm not a huge fan of the micro pennies, but um, if you look at these areas and know how to attack them, then you know what, and go ahead and take your take your bag. So I have a line at 49 for some reason. 49.50 is going to be obviously tough resistance line. So this should be the start here. Uh, next candle, I just 30 seconds more left. And if we can start opening below that and then start making lower highs and with the RSI bending down, then we should be good. So. Pretty, pretty nice day, guys. Um, Everybody stock green, features green. Hopefully, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me. I uh, just want to final thing that I want to say is keep it consistent guys consistency is key don't 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 have this little lucky day BS let me just try something new something different you can do that on a, a demo account and practice on that and see how that goes you don't need to be doing that risking you know, on a real uh, hard earned money account or, you know, a PA account or something like that. You know, you just keep it consistent. And, and you know what, the best thing to do is just stay away from the computer because the longer closer you are to the computer, the more you're going to be what tempted to get back in there when you say you're done and then you do something stupid and then give it all back. So if you tend to do that, well, it's time to start finding ways to just find a new hobby, go do something else, and you'll be way better off that way. Trust me when I say that. It's my first, you know, 13 years of experience. Best thing to do is know to stop for that account. If you want to keep trading, go on a different account and practice that. But once that account has been made in the green, you don't need to be fooling around anymore. Okay.
Okay, team. Well, it's 11 a.m. And right now at the moment, NQ is still putting up a fight. So I would just make sure that the deviation two line does not continue to break above. It is, I don't know, it's still technically building and holding out this last few higher lows here. So i uh, like to see this area crack, but we are getting back up there one more time. So I don't think there's a whole lot of time left for NQ before you know it falls back down, in my opinion. But at this time, I am done for the day, so please make sure you guys are cleaning up and have that trading plan in place if you're sticking around. But for me, I'm done. Uh, I just wish you guys a happy, wonderful Wednesday, and stay blessed, everybody. Looking forward to serving you guys again tomorrow morning. Peace out.